Ozzy Osbourne might be the Prince of Darkness, Slipknots love their scary masks, but ultimately there is only one godfather of shock rock, the man who started it all, the legendary Alice Cooper. They tried so hard to bury me. It's his particular brand of onstage gore that's earned him his title. Anything goes from fake blood and boa constrictors to electric chairs and guillotines. Now all this and more, we're told, is coming to town in the form of the Theatre of Death tour. And, says Alice, the fans will not be disappointed. I mean, you know, everybody says, I wonder if they're going to do the hanging. I wonder if they're going to do the guillotine. I wonder if they're going to do... We do all of them. <laughs> and at the most inopportune times... Uh, it really is, you know, every time I said, well, this is how this goes, I said, let's not do it like that. Any, any time I feel that I'm doing what I did before, we'll do it opposite. Or I think they kill me five times in this one. They don't usually only kill me once, but I said, let's just go way over the top on this. The tour is off the back of the latest concept album, Along Came a Spider. It's Alice's 25th studio record and tells the sinister tale of a serial killer named Spider who entombs his victims in a silk web, not before removing one of their legs. I think you get the idea. But Alice Cooper the performer and Alice Cooper the man are two very different people. Real name Vincent Fournier, he's now a born-again Christian, not to mention a keen golfer. Alice is so opposite of me that it's, he's this arrogant, egotistical villain. You know, he's Captain Hook uh, with disdain, looks at the audience with disdain, you know. Uh, you know uh, but he's funny. We have the same sense of humor. You know, I think that a villain should be funny. He should be murderous, but he should be funny. Uh, and, and we have that in common, but that's about it. With a career that spans over four decades, Alice has influenced pretty much every hardcore rocker, from Kiss to Marilyn Manson. In fact, Alice met Marilyn once, the location you'd expect, the conversation not so much. We did a show in Transylvania, of all places. Alice Cooper and Marilyn Manson in Transylvania. And it was the first time I met him, and we were backstage, and all we talked about was marriage. You would think that we would talk about something much more dastardly than that. Of course, maybe that is the most. Uh, he had just gotten a divorce, and I'd been married 33 years, and we talked about marriage. And it was really pretty good conversation. We didn't really talk about horror at all. Uh, it was an interesting conversation, you know, but I, I liked him. See, they're all just nice guys you take back to your mum. And if you want to see Alice Cooper in full Technicolor gore, he hits the UK for several dates in November.